Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Data Recovery. Today we have an external Seagate one terabyte, and it's been dropped off here for data recovery. And right now the issue is it's not powering on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just confirm that. Okay, so far there's no LED power light showing here and the computer is not even detecting it. The connection does feel very loose. I can move this around very easily. So there might be something wrong with the uh, USB connection in there. So for this, we will have to open it up. Trying to open this up, but you have to be very careful not to damage the drive inside any further. So this just takes time and patience going all around the enclosure just to get the clips undone. I think I just can open up with my hands now. Alright. See the drive. Now let's take that from the other side of the enclosure. Gotta remove this protective film. All right, so this is actually an adapter into a SATA connection. So you can actually remove this. Hmm, so it's possible only that the adapter might be damaged. So we can probably go and find another adapter just like this, or we can actually use in another enclosure that will connect to the SATA. Be the or, that's probably one other way to try to see if the adapter was the only problem. All right, I actually do have another one right next to me, which is exactly the same as this one, as the original that it came with. So we can give that a try and see if it works. Okay, and now we're getting LED. So, it must have been just the adapter, which is good because we won't have to do too much to actually get the data for this one. So the customer got very lucky with this one. But we can also try an enclosure. Even though we already know it works, but if you don't have any of these adapters, you can always get another enclosure. As you can see, that one is a SATA with power. And all you have to do is just gotta slide that in. Okay. Let's power it up. There we go. Now we're getting activity and we can see the data on our screen. So this is great. The customer is going to be very happy about this. 
And this is actually the best case scenario for most data recoveries. And if you have something similar, you can always give this a try, but you don't want to go too far as you can damage the drive and maybe lose your data forever. But this should be more of an easy thing to do. So there you go. There's two ways of actually trying to see if this was a, just an adapter from the in, in original enclosure that it came with. And you know what? There's so possibly, there could have been something else wrong with this. Like I said, this was the best case scenario for this customer. And luckily, it was a good one. All right. Thank you for watching and tune in for more. Take care.